if you want to have a turnkey business, it's about systems, and we finally got to get serious about systems. And I'm going to share with you in the presentation this morning the reason that you're not serious about your systems. I hope you get it. I think you will. Had a long conversation with one of you that's in the audience uh, just the other day. We were working together on some consulting, and we got into this. The reason that you're not implementing those systems. Well, I had the uh, uh, wonderful opportunity to actually do what the book said. And at that time, when I read Michael Gerber's book, we had uh, three trucks. We were doing about $30,000 a month. And uh, everything revolved around me. I was making decent money. I was making $100,000 a year. But um, everything revolved around me. I was a slave to the business. So when I got this concept of systems, and by the way, when I talk about systems, I'm not talking about just operating systems as far as customer service and those kinds of things. How many of you know that if you're going to have a predictable, profitable turnkey operation, that you've got to have a predictable marketing system that brings in a predictable amount of phone calls, right? You've got to have a predictable closing rate. You've got to have a predictable script not a can script, but a plan script, and maybe some training and some experience in making that sale. Because how many of you know you can generate that phone call, but you don't convert that into an actual order? So you have to have a marketing system. This is what I call the four pillars of a phenomenally successful business. Write this down because you get overwhelmed in your business. And you got to figure out a way to organize your business and to see it in a very simple, clear way. The four parts of a phenomenally successful business, some people say that there are three, so I'm going to add one to it, and I'll share what it is in just a second. Marketing. Some people call that lead generation. Marketing. you got to have your marketing system. Now, I personally don't want to generate leads. The kind of marketing that we do, high-end referral marketing, I want to generate pre-qualified, pre-sold, ready-to-buy clients. What about you? We've got a system for that. Predictable system. Now, a system doesn't work. How many of you ha have automobiles? All right, you got automobiles. Does that automobile work if you don't actually take the key and turn the key? Does the automobile work if you haven't maintained that vehicle? Does it work, does it go down the road if it doesn't have gasoline? Right? So you've got to have a predictable marketing system. You've got to plant enough seed to get enough phone calls coming in. One of the things that I've found in consulting a lot of you guys is you're unclear you're actually convinced that your client-based marketing is not working, my mailers aren't working, when that's your gold. That's a miracle taking place, and you're not even seeing it. We'll get into that a little bit more later this afternoon. The second pillar is sales. It's what I call sales, other people call lead conversion. So once you've generated that phone call, generated that opt-in on the website, and in many cases coming through the website, coming through paid advertising and those kinds of things, many times that can be a lead. But the difference between a lead and a pre-qualified, pre-sold, ready-to-buy client, in my mind, is the, the education process that they go through. That's what I love about referral marketing because we can go out there and build relationships with human beings and that human being, uh, like Gail here, is a good friend of mine with the local networking that, that we do. We went to Brian Tracy the other day. That was awesome. Okay. In fact, I asked Brian Tracy, I got a YouTube video out there right now. Some of you guys may have seen it. Did a quick video with Brian Tracy and Brian Tracy is one of the top 
uh, sales trainers in the world. And I said, you know, Brian, just give us just one nugget for my audience out there, my email audience out there, just one nugget. And he said, your success will be directly related to the amount of contacts that you make and the number of contacts that you follow up with. Period, end of story. So what happens is we get so locked into the operations of the business, 90% of our uh, activity is just getting everything done that we're not out there planting those seeds. All right? So if you're not continually filling your vehicle with gasoline, you can't expect it to move. Does that make sense? Predictable marketing system. We've got to figure that out. And I'm going to share this morning, in just a minute, the reason that you're not planting enough seed. 